No place is perfect, but I think for a lot of people, West Lynn comes pretty close. Well, we got a video for you, pros and cons of living in West Lynn. If you have any questions about this neighborhood or anywhere around the Portland Metro, please reach out and give me a call. I'm happy to answer any questions. So here we are on a sunny, beautiful Saturday in January. We're walking through the Savannah Oaks neighborhood of West Lynn. And I don't know, as soon as I got out of the car, I just had this good feeling. What do you think? Yeah, there's kids out here playing on the sidewalks, in the streets, Frisbee, throwing a ball, soccer. Little dogs out on their porch. What yeah. do you think, Bubba? What do you say? <laughs> He's got a few things to say That's about the thing is he said, rough, rough. He liked that doggy. <laughs> so this neighborhood is way up on a hill. And one of the great things about that is just the views. The views from so many of these houses and just from the streets are so incredible. The views down into the valley, um, you just get so much open sky. I really love it. Yeah, this is a great neighborhood. There's not a lot of trees up over the houses, so you see a lot of sky here. A lot of sunshine, which is really nice in the winter time. Here's another pro, very kid friendly. <laughs> he wants to go everywhere now. That's Trubba cool. is his real name. Trubba Bubba is his nickname. <laughs> He gets into a lot of trouble, <laughs> but he wants to be free and on the go. Do not so, thwart that baby. <laughs> this is a good neighborhood for him. Not a lot of cars around here, so he can just kind of walk. Great sidewalks for kids, definitely a pro. So I'm getting a feel for why so many young families really love West Lynn. Just, you know, this neighborhood gives off that feeling yep. of a lot of people in the same stage of life, um, families with kids, really, you know, nice homes, well-maintained, feels very safe and calm and quiet up here. Yeah, just listen for a minute. It's very quiet. Until our kids start. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's definitely a pro as well. So honey, what does a house around here cost? Great question. So there's a house, a new build right down here. Let me turn the camera around and show you. This is for sale right now for just over 1.1 million. There's also a house just adjacent to this neighborhood for a little over 800,000. For new build, that's something's modern. It's a great option, a good price point. If this house was in Lake Oswego, it would be much more expensive. The land there is just more of a premium. So if you wanna live in Lake Oswego, but you want a new build, but you don't wanna be in that 2 million range or closer to 2 million, this is a great option for you in Westland at 1.1 million for a brand new build. Another pro is having this park so close by. This is Lusher Farm. It's right in between Lake Oswego and Westland. It's technically in Lake Oswego, but it's right there on the border, but anyone's free to use it. Oh, there's my family right there. We come here all the time. They have amazing CSAs, which are organic food that they grow here at the farm. And you can get a weekly pickup in the winter, and then they do one in the summer. Totally advise taking advantage of that. We did that this last summer. It was a lot of fun just getting the kids involved and coming down to Lusher Farm. You go in the barn, get your vegetables, put them in your bag. Awesome experience for the kids and even for the adults. Wife and I love it because we get to try new vegetables that we normally wouldn't buy at the grocery store. And so we just kind of make it fun to try to use them in a dish or something. So this park is a huge plus to living in Westland or Lake Oswego. Like I said, you have full use of it no matter where you live. Oh, and there's the chickens right there. There's the chicken barn. This is definitely a pro. Lots and lots of parks that you can take advantage of if you live in Westland. So the homes in this neighborhood are pretty close together. Um, you can see, you know, the lot sizes are small. Here's some kids riding by on their bikes. But it's interesting in Westland overall, I think there's really a variety. Some people move out to Westland for more space and there are some areas where, you know, you can get a half acre or an acre and really have a lot of privacy and, you know, a, that different lifestyle where your kids can really run around on a big property or people have horses, things like that. In West Lynn, you really have the choice between a neighborhood that feels really kind of tight with your neighbors and that can be a beautiful thing because again, kids are riding bikes out here and you know, your neighbors are really close, you, you know them um, versus being in a 
more open, uh, forested, where you have a lot of privacy and a lot of land. There's a lot of great neighborhoods up in this area of Westland. It's very hilly, you got great views, all these are pros. A lot of them are newer type builds from the 2000s up. Definite pro about Westland is this area we're in right now, historic Willamette. This is actually a super cute area. This little main street of historic Willamette is, it looks like a little historic town with coffee shops and restaurants and boutiques and um, just has like a real hub feeling down here. We live in a neighboring community, Lake Oswego, and the first time we came down here, I had a quick moment of, hmm, should we have moved to Westland? Like this little street, this little historic district is just really charming and has a lot going for it, I think. All right, and there's a good breakfast place right behind us, 1933. A lot of people in there, looks like they're staying warm and getting a nice brunch. And here we are at La Fiesta. Bryce always wanted to come to this Mexican restaurant, but we just can't make it with these kids, can we? <laughs> Juliet, what do you have to say? Should we go to that Mexican restaurant? No. <laughs> Coffee is about the limit of our abilities. <laughs> Coffee. So for the last couple of years, they were doing a lot of construction here on this street and they have finally finished it. They did a really good job and they did these cool bike paths right along the main street here. Kind of cool. So another pro is definitely the community feel and just the shared sense of community in Westland. People love living here. I think once people make the decision to move out here from maybe from the city of Portland or you know coming up from other places, they love it. Like it, it has that small town atmosphere. Um, it, it is its own town. It has its own school district. We yeah. can get into that a little bit, but um, I think there's really a pride of living here and um, just a slower pace of life that people, I think, really appreciate. Another huge pro from my perspective is everything else that you have access to. So you're here in this great tight-knit community, but you also are you know, an hour and a half from ski slopes, an hour and a half from the beach, some of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen. And so just that ability to get into the city, into Portland, to the airport. That's one of the things I love about Lake Oswego is that small town feel that you get. Lake Oswego has that downtown on A and First Street. And here in the Old Town District, you have that similar downtown look to it, feel to it. Yeah, absolutely. I think just as we're walking through here too, Westland's just such an interesting mix of, you know, really older historic homes and then much newer homes. Um, so, it, you know, it, it's a very eclectic mix of, you know, this neighborhood we're wa walking through is definitely an older area along the river. Um, and then there are many brand new subdivisions in Westland as well. So it's just a big mix. So just a few blocks down the street from the historic Willamette District is the Willamette River. So Westland is right on the river, uh, a lot of access to the river, beaches, ability to put in a boat, um, very outdoorsy feeling because of the river running through it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you want river access or just, or just hang out at a park, I mean, that's the place to be. A lot of people go there from all over really not even just Westland. It's such a great park right there on the river. It's not a park, it's a playground. Let's talk about housing. A definite pro is that there is a wide variety of prices, affordability. You can be in the 500s on up to multiple, multiple millions if you want to be right on the river or on the golf course. There's something for everybody in Westland, and that is a huge pro versus, say, Lake, Lake Oswego, which is gonna be a little pricier. In Westland, your money's you're gonna get a little more bang for your buck for the newer house type of house. Lake Oswego, for instance, which is right next to Westland, you're paying a little bit more premium for that land, for that location, where in Westland, your dollar goes a little further in housing, but you still get that great community feel and you're outside of 
Portland, you're in the greater metro, so it's still not a far commute, but you're about 10 minutes from, five to 10 minutes from Lake Oswego, and then another 15, 20 minutes to downtown from there. Take note, I've been wanting to go to this restaurant since pre-pandemic. We actually oh. had a reservations here. Once. How do you say it? Allium. And Allium. it's a, they own a handful of restaurants in the Portland area. So one of my favorite coffee shops in St. John's, Jola, is owned by oh, okay. these guys. And then they own Lark Coffee right down the street too. Right, So oh, I've been awesome. wanting to go to this restaurant like for three years. <laughs> One of these days we're gonna get over here to go. Here we are passing Willamette Primary School. Let's talk about schools. Yeah, perfect time to comment on one of the best school districts in the state. Oh, we just lost a kid. Just making sure my daughter didn't fall off the stroller. Almost ran her over here. <laughs> All for the video. The school district here is one of the best, one in the top three in the state. Schools are amazing here. Another pro I forgot to mention is if you are into wine or wine country, Westland is right in wine country um, in terms of the Portland area. So there are a few excellent wineries. There's Pete's Mountain Vineyard. There is um, Tumwater Winery, which we happen to love there. my favorite. Yeah, it's, they have a really great Pinot Noir. And I think they're the ones with a great Chardonnay, which is hard to find up here. And, and then just the beauty of that. So I love the look of, um, you know, that corduroy look of, of um, vines on the hillside is just so beautiful. If you want to be close to downtown, it's definitely a con. A little bit further out, you're in the Portland Metro. You're not near downtown. But if that's what you want, boom, it's a pro. So to me, the weather is kind of both a pro and a con. How about you, honey? I would concur. Yes, pro and con. It is a milder, more temperate climate here, but you do get the distinct four seasons. And you know what? This year so far has been very rainy from fall to winter, so I'm already ready for springtime. <laughs> Aaron was like, are we going to Palm Springs for my birthday? Yeah. Did you mention that? If it wasn't COVID and little kids, we would be in Hawaii sometime around now. So I would say that is a con, is just weather, but hey, that's all of Portland. Um, for some of the year, but you know what? Get out, go look somewhere this, else, though. go look travel. How gorgeous, that. Yeah, it is gorgeous. I mean, and look, here's someone in his backyard. They got a goat right up here, up the hill behind us. Pro or con? I don't only know you, if you can, can say. See that. <laughs> One more con is the variety of restaurants. Yeah, I think that just goes along with this being more of a suburb, rural feel. I, I think you definitely are gonna see more chain restaurants and big box stores and, you know, it doesn't quite have the charm um, that some of the neighborhoods in Portland or, you know, the Southwest or Lake Oswego where you have some of the pros of Westland, the bigger properties, the good schools, but you still have a little bit more of the, the charm, the small town feel, the, the high quality local restaurants. And, and like I said, there are some here. There's this restaurant um, up the street that I've been wanting to try, but for the most part, it's a more suburban environment. For me, a con of Westland is it's a little bit more suburban and kind of like the rural suburban than my personal preference. So there are a lot of um, newer homes that are in more of a subdivision that feels a little bit cookie cutter to me and that's just not my style personally a lot of people love that like my parents are in the midwest they love a brand new subdivision and that's like their jam you have any questions give me a call my information's right down there don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more you'll be notified all right that's a wrap <laughs>